Are you going there? What? Right. I need to set the height so that when it touches that form, this stylus is resting on the bench. So that should just go through the wood. And just because I can, I'm going to try it in two cuts. Rest, I'm going to try some slots. Okay. Too, because I'd have to change the style of food and the cutter. Probably, yeah. Straight on the edge. Well, it's supposed to be. Mm. Need to cut that way back. Yes. You just pop a finger on there, Dave. Right, I'm 
bit just to make sure it goes through. Handling required. Don't leave a right good finish, not with that cutter. at all. That's pretty good for a first run. Right, that it? creates problems, you know, with it bouncing. Yeah. You don't know whether you're through or not. And this sellotape, it keeps, stylus keeps snagging on it and tearing it off. Right. So double-sided tape, it's cure both of them. Mm. Is that it all folded up, put away? Yep. Variable speeds. Yep. The chuck will take up to four mil. Um, the stylus, the end here, it has to be twice the size of your cutter, twice the diameter, because it reduces it to to one on this setting. Yeah, and stylus tips are interchangeable. Um, if you put that hole over there and that hole over there, it'll reduce it by three to one instead. Mm. The only thing you really have to watch out for is that when it's level, it's level with your bench or a full range of movement so that it's penetrating your wood at the same time there as it is over here and that's about it mm. time to take it to bits and make it look nice very good it's looking good anyway 